your hips down this right hand side because you've got Boyle with his pace and you've got Cadden with his delivery. Well, it's a second debut for Martin Boyle here at Easter Road. Retain possession and get runners off him. Boyle though, takes out Kenna. Puts that one out for Boyle. Cochrane. Can't get the ball over, Boyle blocks it well. He does well, Boyle. Corner. And it comes. Grant cleared. Boyle picks up. Now Martin Boyle takes off. Harry Mackay though is pretty swift as well. But mm. Hibbs uh, credit to him when they were switched on. You know the defenders around were switched on. They managed to clear the danger very well. Hearts at the moment. Torches. Long diagonal ball looking for Boyle and he'll find him. It's a decent delivery. Johan can't get there. Comes a play out down the far side with Cadden. Boyle under pressure from Cochrane, but he does well. Rocky. Junior. Doyle Hayes again out to Doyle on that far side. Clipped into the area. Diligent knocking the ball around the halfway line. That's a great ball forward by Doyle Hayes. What can Boyle do? As well, he's then caught. And that will be a yellow card. Cliff, that's just pace. Yeah. That's just raw pace. I mean, he tries to clear the ball, blocked by Cochran, it pops out. Yeah. Two of them fighting for the ball. Because he's a yard quicker than everyone else on the pitch, he gets across Haring, gets a free kick in a very dangerous area. For me, this, is, this has got to be Newell basically just trying to score. Yep. Just basically swing that left peg in and put as much yep. pace on it as you can. Chabria is going to launch it into the box. He doesn't. He plays it back instead to Boyle at the edge of the area. Boyle chips it in cleverly. Too much on it, though. Christian Doyle just can't get there. Craig Gordon is alert to it. Gathers. Boyle Hayes. Boyle. Slips the ball to the edge of the area. Boyle is on the edge of the box. What can he do, Martin Boyle? Can he get the shot? He does, but it's blocked by a Hearts defender. It just didn't sit for him, Stuart, to get the clean shot away. We're in the final minute of the five additional. Can Hibbs conjure up one last chance? Martin Boyle through for Ellie Yuan. He's inside the area. It needs a decent cutback. Boyle is there! And Martin Boyle! On his return to Easter Road, breaks Hibbs level at the dead. What a fairy tale, Stuart level. Well, it was the two players, I would argue, are the quickest on the pitch who have affected the game. Yuan has really not had much of an opportunity to get the ball at his feet and stretch his legs. He ran away from Halkett as if he wasn't there, and Halkett is no slouch. What we've learned today, Cliff, is that pace will always keep you in the game. Yep. And this was the point where Boyle managed to get onto the second ball, threaded it through into Yuan, and he could have pulled the trigger, he didn't panic. This was the ball, lovely touch by Yuan, and he goes again, Boyle into Yuan. Look at him get away from Halkip, see you later, cut back. And that's exactly what you yeah. want Martin Boyle in there, in between Absolutely, the sticks. Yeah. But it was the combination between the two, nothing more. Yuan into Boyle, Boyle gets away, and this is the thing that caught my attention, how fast he is to get yeah. away from his man. They've got a player here in Yuan who has got pace to burn. Yep. He reminds me of Didier Gap back in the day who can run away from people and he doesn't look that quick, but he's just lightning over 10 yards. Yeah. And you've really got a player that you can work with. Well, and, and, he, and, he, and he looked up there and he saw where Martin Boyle was running into and put the ball right on the end of his foot. There's been a distinct lack of composure from Hibbs in the final third today. The one time when they had someone who could actually burst past someone and lend it to his teammate. And Boyle is in there in an area. I mean, I'm so pleased yeah. with him because he'd have been coming on in this game thinking, I want to affect the game. Yeah. And, well, and he has. Bedlam broke out there right at the death. And that's it. The final kick of the ball, literally from Martin Boyle, to dispatch it beyond Craig Gordon in the Hearts goal and give Hibbs a point in the Edinburgh Derby.